Hey Ash Ma'am, it's Angelia Trinidad, CEO and founder of Passion Planner, and you're watching The Game Changer, where I share ideas with you that have helped me on my journey to becoming a millionaire, but more importantly, live my ideal life. So today's game-changing idea is how I've used my planner to manifest my ideal life um, and hold myself accountable. So um, lots of people have asked me pretty much how I use my planner. At the end of the week, I really like doing this thing where I'll highlight nine o'clock and I'll highlight five o'clock and that'll show me like the time frame in which I want to be working. And then I'll also highlight like my lunch break. Um, but at the end of the week, what I'll do is I'll go back and I'll actually color code what I actually did during those times. So color coding for me is one of those things that makes me feel like, whoa, I stayed accomplished. And it actually makes it look like, oh wow, like, oh, I was really on task or, oh, I was really distracted that week. And it, becomes this um, like visual representation of where my time went. So I really like doing that. Um, and I like the things being colorful. <laughs> so and lots of people have asked me pretty much, how do you color code? Color coding honestly is this big, like doesn't have to be like that crazy. For me, I color coded based on what makes sense to my brain. So what I do is I use green for passion planner and it's like a lime green um, because that reminds me of Passion Planner because um, our ribbons are all lime green. Yellow for eating and I think about french fries. I don't eat very many french fries but yellow just, I don't know, makes sense. Um, light purple for personal development which looks like meditation, when I talk to my life coach or um, when I meet with my mastermind groups. Um, red for physical, physical activity because I'm sweating and I look red so that makes sense. Um, blue for social interactions. Um, I mean, social interactions don't make me feel blue, but I'm introverted, so they're kind of different. <laughs> um, so cotton candy pink for cotton candy things, like watching TV, um, things like checking my social media, like these things that like aren't really, like, I don't know, they're just like cotton candy, like candy activities. Um, and these colors really make sense to me personally, so I don't really have to second guess them, I don't have to reference it, it's like, oh yeah, okay. That's that, that's that. So really just come up with a system that makes sense to you and just use it. It could be as simple as using a four colored pen and not having like, you know, just deciding like, okay, this color's for work, this color's for personal, this color's for, I don't know, whatever you want to track. And you have to create a system that works for you. So usually it takes a little bit of time. Just see what you like and have fun with it. So that's my whole bit on color coding. I really like these highlighters. They're Midliners, mild liners, sorry, mild liners. And I like them because they're not too, they're not highlighters, they're mild lighters. Like, you know, not too, not too intense. So I really like them. But you can use like Crayola markers. They're cheap and easy. Love them too. So hope you enjoyed this video. What is your favorite planner tip? If you could share that in the comments below, I'd love to read it. I love people sharing tips on how they use their planner. I love the innovative and creative ways you all do this. So if you like this video, please subscribe. I try to make videos every week. So it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to start. And I hope you just start today and write down the things that are important to you and make time for those things. So good luck with everything. Um, and I'll see you next week.